The idea of being able to record your dreams has always fascinated like the fuck out of me, bro. How cool would it be? Like you've probably had a dream before. I, I don't know if you've had this, but you probably had where you've had a dream that was just so cool and you just wish you could like take a camera into it and record it and then show your friends or something when you woke up. I don't know if that's happened to you, but that's happened to me so many times. And I've actually had lucid dreams. I've had lucid dreams where I've just been thinking in the moment, like, I wish I could just have a camera right now and just take a photo or video of this and just wake up and show everyone this lucid dream because it looks so cool. But unfortunately, I was always thinking, you know what, that's impossible. Obviously, we can never record dreams, right? That's like something out of a fucking movie. That's just, how would that even work? But... A few years ago, I mean, like, I'm talking probably like 10 years ago, they found out that you could somehow reconstruct images from your brain through, like, MRI machines and, like, big machines. So some people could go into a lab, like, of, oh, like, researchers and stuff. They would, you could go into a lab, into this big-ass machine and, like, reconstruct images from your brain. And they were like pretty shitty images. Like you would look at a picture of like a cat or something. And then from your brain signals, it could reconstruct an image of a cat, but it kind of looked ass and it kind of looked distorted. You maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you've seen this. It's been around for like 10 years. So it was kind of like a thing, but you see that and you're kind of like, nah, it's kind of shit. You like, you don't want to go into a big machine every time you want to record your dreams. Right. But recently, thanks to like AI and like advances in artificial intelligence, there's a bunch of researchers have been able to like decode your EEG brain signals. So what this means is basically there's machines that can um, get your EEG signals. And I don't even know what this means. Like, you know, I don't even know the specifics of it, but basically you can put on a headset that an average person can buy and it can like record your brain signals. And these are called like EEG signals, right? And for a long time, these machines were kind of cool. Like anyone can buy one. You can probably get one for like a few hundred dollars. These brain signals are kind of cool, but like if I'm being real, they're kind of fucking useless. <laughs> like, you can't do much with it. Maybe you can use these brain signals and, like, there's apps that can tell you when you're calm and they can, like, see your emotional state and give you, like, suggestions based on your brain signals and everything, right? But nothing too interesting. And since, it, like, everyone can buy one and it's a few hundred dollars, you're obviously thinking, uh, you can't really do much with it. But recently, due to AI and, like, stable diffusion and, like, generating images with AI and all this new stuff that's happened in the next, in the past like few years, you can now, they found out how to reconstruct images using AI based on these EEG signals. So basically based on these signals, these brain signals from your brain with this machine that an average person can buy, you can now reconstruct AI images from this. And so I remember finding this out and I was like, and this is only possible because of the, all the new AI stuff and the image generation stuff, right? So when I found this out, I was like interested as fuck in this. I, actually, my first thought was I need to create a dream recording machine because that'll obviously make me like a hundred million dollars, bro. That was my first thought. I was like, I need to make a dream recording machine. And I was also thinking I have so many lucid dreams that would just be cool as fuck to record. So that was my first thought. And so I started looking at all these, these research papers and these studies and stuff because I was just trying to find like a model I could just download <laughs> and like get my brain signals and just generate an image for it. But apparently that doesn't exist. So I was reading all these research papers. I started a whole Google Doc, bro. I probably still have it somewhere. <laughs> Maybe I should share it. I started a whole Google Doc where I copy and pasted all these links to research studies. And I spent like seven hours on chat GPT <laughs> trying to like understand all these research papers because I didn't understand all the fucking nerd talk, bro. So yeah, I spent hours talking to chat GPT trying to break down these studies. And I was like, I'm going to create a dream recording machine. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And so I, after all my research and not being able to find how I could do this, I came across a GitHub page. I don't know if you use GitHub or know what it is. It's like people can post their code and open source code and post all their projects. So anyone can like download people's code and like look through it and 
fix bugs and stuff like that. That's basically what GitHub is. So I found some code on GitHub from like a bunch of these Indian researchers that was talking about how they could reconstruct AI images from your brain signals. And they showed the kind of side-by-side -side comparisons and these guys could generate really similar images to what you were seeing in your brain. So I was like, okay, this is it. <laughs> so because I posted all the code, so I was like, okay, this is a key. All I need to do is download all these all this fucking code and then I can just create a dream recording machine. <laughs> so I don't know how to code and all this was programmed in Python, the lang the programming language, and I don't know any of that. So I just downloaded all this, all these files and all this code. And once again, I spent <laughs> hours talking to ChatGPT, trying to get ChatGPT to help me like figure out what all this means, but like it didn't really work. <laughs> so eventually after looking through all this code and trying to figure out how I could train a model on brain signals or something and generate images, it just, it just didn't work. I just, I didn't get anywhere with it. So I decided to leave a comment on the GitHub thing asking how we, um, asking how I could like do it myself and use it with my own data. Cause honestly, these guys gave shit instructions. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not a program programmer. I don't know any stuff about this. So I left a comment asking for some help. And then a day later, I got a response telling me that I needed to train it on my own brain signals. So I couldn't just download the model. I had to actually go in and train the whole, th I had to recollect my own brain signals, looking at all their test images and doing all this stuff to train the model myself. So that kind of pissed me off. And I was asking, um, why couldn't I just like, do why couldn't I just download the model and just get my brain signals and generate an image, right? <laughs> and they told me that could work. They said there was a 15 to 30% chance of that working. You know, I hope you're still following along. I hope I'm not just like talking too quick or just yapping. <laughs> but basically, I'm trying to explain that I was trying to create a dream recording machine, bro, and I didn't know what I was doing. So I asked for help. And it turned out I actually couldn't do it as easily as I thought it would be. <laughs> you know what? I even started looking to, I started looking for EEG headsets to buy, <laughs> to record my brain signals. I was looking at cheapest EEG headsets available because I knew I was going to make the dream recording machine, bro. But yeah, apparently I couldn't. Apparently I needed to do all the training myself and that would take way too much computing power. So it just wouldn't work. <laughs> and so I left all these comments and I was asking for help and they, I was like, yeah, thanks for your help after they replied. And they were, they said to me like, um, oh yeah, if you figure out how to do it, it'll be really helpful for our experiments. So let us know. And I was like, yeah, I'll let you know my experiments. Just thinking in the back of my mind, no, I'm going to create a dream recording machine and just sell it for a hundred million dollars. I am not sharing my experiments with you, bro. <laughs> I was just thinking, nah, I'm gonna create a dream recording machine. But no, in the end, it didn't work. The thing they said was that I had to train the model on my own brain signals, they told me, but they were still working out a way. They said researchers were working out a way to make sure they only had to train it on like one person's brain signals and it would just work for everyone else. So they said they were working on a way to make that happen, but it's not there yet. Funnily enough, I left a few other comments on like other things related to this. And then I got someone emailing me like a month later asking if I figured it out. <laughs> it was like some Asian researcher e emailing me asking if I ever figured it out and I didn't. <laughs> so there's a lot of people trying to figure out how to record uh, your EEG brain signals and generate images from it. So I actually don't think you realize, bro, how close we are to being able to record dreams. It's much closer than you think. I would honestly say, I'm not even trying to hype this up, but I would honestly say within like 12 months, there'll be someone that records their dreams. And if a year comes around and that doesn't happen, I'm gonna look like a retard, but, and you know what? I know there's gonna be some nerds in the comments saying I'm like retarded and telling me to delete this video because I don't know what I'm talking about. But that's honestly just my prediction, bro. Because I've seen so many people working on recording 
your brain signals and turning it into images. Maybe you're not paying attention to it because you need to go on some fucking a secret GitHub page to find all these, these Chinese researchers working on it, but these guys are grinding on this research hard, bro. So you're going to be able to record your dreams eventually. If not in a year, then like at least within the next five years, bro. So I just thought that was interesting. Get ready to record your dreams, bro. <laughs>